Hello, my lovelies. So, uh, Skyrim definitely tomorrow. Why? Why isn't it today? Dang it, Tori, you keep telling us we're gonna, we're gonna finish up the mage's college run. We are. But some idiot forgot to plug her camera in to charge. I wouldn't know who that idiot would be. Hmm. Uh, it's me. <laughs> Any hoodles. So I figured we would take this time um, to try out the filming straight to YouTube thing from my phone. Because um, I told you guys uh, this would probably be the only way I could do it. I'll probably be, you know, fairly... Not completely immobile, but fairly immobile for a few days at least. Um, and I wanted to at least check in with you guys after my surgery and stuff to let you know I'm not dead, etc. So I figured let's try using the phone to film a video for YouTube. I'm trying to hold my hands really still because, alas, I don't have a tripod for my phone, which would be handy. Quite frankly, I always use a tripod to film. Um, except when I don't. Sometimes I go handheld, but my gosh, that makes all of us sick, I think. Yeah. Any hoodles, uh, I didn't do my hair or put on makeup because those videos that you'll be getting, I'm not going to do my hair or put on makeup. Uh, I love you guys, but, uh, uh, so get used to this look, uh, with the glasses and the no makeup and the, well, I braided my hair, but that's just so it's not in the way. You know how it goes. So, um, Yeah. Yay, we're at the couch. This actually looks pretty decent with nearly no light, um, except, you know, for the lamp there that's really shining. Uh, but, I don't know, it's picking up well enough. Um, Daenerys, come here. She's sitting right beside me. Baby Gil, come here, Baby Gil. What are you doing? Say hello to the people. Say hello to the people, Baby Gil. Why won't you look at the camera? Why won't you look? This is this is what Daenerys is like, isn't it? Isn't it? Any hoodles? Yeah. So um, now the other two are playing. Well, okay. Gas is trying to get Murphy to play. Any hoodles? Lazy day for me, I know. Um, I really did forget to plug in my video camera to charge it. Um, usually I can get like all my videos done on one charge, but uh, the Skyrim vids usually take an hour or so, and, uh, yeah, there wasn't enough. <laughs> I had, like, 88 minutes, which I realize, you know, yes, an hour is only 60 minutes. I at least know that much math, but, um, sometimes I'm recording for, like, a hundred minutes, um, and then I pull out what we need for, you know, editing purposes and such, um, so, you know. It is the way of things. So uh, I should I should film like this so I can stretch my neck out and appear thinner. Um, <laughs> I'm a dork. Uh, yeah, any hoodles. Uh, it's a real short vid today. Um, you guys might feel like you're not getting a lot of content. I don't know. Well, I can't really say anything. The last two weeks you got four out of five. Some I think some weeks you got like three. But that wasn't good. Uh, I'm slipping, slipping, slipping into the future okay no we're not singing steve miller band i'll get copyright tagged or something um if i was remotely on key anyway which i'm not oh oh i do have something cool though um you guys that follow me on insta or facebook got to hear a little snippet of my theme song i have my own theme song it's very surfy that's what i asked for um Mm, when I first started, it's, was it a year, two years ago? I don't remember, two years ago. Um, I first started doing the five days a week thing, and it, at first I had nice little intro tunes to the vids, uh, which were all from my band, you know, so I wouldn't have to worry about copyright and such. Um, but they were all different and, and whatnot. And then um, I... Uh, did my hard drive fry? Something. Um, but, or it was when my webcam went wonky. I think that was it. So I lost all my intros because I was trying to make it work. Um, and uh, I just never bothered to film new intros or anything. So I talked to the old man and I was like, babe, I really need a theme song. 
which of course he did not even question. He was like, okay, uh, what do you want it to sound like? I'm like, I want something surfy. I want something surfy because I love surf music, um, beach music, you know, the 50s surf kind of stuff. Dun, 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 dun. You know, like Hawaii Five O, whatever, Wipeout, etc. So um, he wrote a surf song for me. Uh, he played everything: bass, guitar. Um, I know he put down a few guitar tracks, and I don't even know what else. Um, anything with strings, that's Joe's department. Um, and then I laid down the drums. And it's really kind of cool. He got like a whole new something or other for his computer. Don't ask me. It's some little box he can plug into. And then he got like a new sound card. I don't know. I don't know. I don't understand things. <laughs> it's very technical. I just know now he has. And he got a really cool software program I don't know it cost him like 60 bucks he tried out a lot and then found one he really liked which of course you can get plugins for to make things sound different yada yada so then we recorded my drums um after he recorded everything else you guys might think that's weird uh when we recorded our cd in uh studio we all played at the same time which was nice because that's how we practice we played together and they were trying to get me to learn how to play with a click track because of course I'm the drummer. I am the rhythm person. I should be able to play with the click track. And it was terrible. Now this was a few years ago. Um, and I was not as good of a drummer then as I am now. The more you play, the better you get. It's just, that's how it works. Um, but I still always considered myself to have pretty good rhythm and that click track just kept throwing me off like crazy. So we go to record uh, my drums, you know, I have the song playing through my headphones and I'm, you know, figuring out what it's going to sound like. Um, you know, I need to make drums that go with the song. Da, da, da. Um, and uh, first I realized it was super fast, which is fine, but I haven't been playing my drums a lot. So my arms got real tired and I'm like, good night. This is so fast. He goes, oh, I can slow it down which he did so that is awesome not by a lot um it's like by 1.5 whatever that means i don't know uh so you know he slowed it down just a little bit so my arms wouldn't fall off which you know awesome babe um and then i ran through it twice and i was like i could feel myself because sometimes uh you know truth here i get real excited when i'm playing the drums especially if i nail a fill Fills will always be the hardest part for me. I am not what you would call creative when it comes to my drum fills because I am always afraid that I won't come back in on beat. So I keep them simple, which is fine. You know, drummers can keep it simple. As long as you hold down the beat, you're doing your job. But you don't need to get fancy. You don't need to think of yourself as Neil Perth, okay? Not everybody is like that. Um, I do practice a lot of fills, but I don't incorporate them often in our songs because I just don't feel super confident. It's, I'm always worried I'll mess up. And like if I nail a fill, then I get really excited and I come back in too fast. Um, and then I have to slow myself down. And when you're playing live and together, it's not super noticeable if I do that. Um, it happens sometimes in our first set because I'm just really pumped and have a lot of adrenaline. Um, but I think my band is used to it, so we are all fine. Also, I'm playing with a different bass player when I play with my husband. I'm used to Ray. Ray and I, we're good. Uh, not that my husband's not good, but I'm used to hearing rhythm and not his bass, which is just different. Uh, every bass player is different, ask any drummer. Um, getting a new bass player is always a learning curve. Uh, any hoodles. So I, I was having problems and I kept telling him, I'm too excited coming off the fills. Um, he goes, would you want to try it with a click track? And I'm like, oh God, no. Do you remember how terrible it was with the click track? He goes, that was a really crappy click track. And I don't think it was very good. He goes, this one is good. He goes, I played everything with the click track, like all his parts he put down. And I went, oh, well, okay, let's try it. One go, bang, that click track was perfect. And I'm very proud of myself because... I'm like, so it wasn't me being terrible and unable to 
play, keep a beat. It was the click track was screwed up because I played perfectly. It went so well. Of course, now I knew I should have went through one more time. That was just the third time. Third time, that was it. But at the end of it, I was so excited. I go, that was way easier. Before the crescendo from my brass, from my from my ride was done playing out. And I told, and then I was like, oh crap. Because the drums are just, or the mics are just set up around my equipment. So of course it picked me up hollering how excited I was. And I was like, oh no, uh, we better do that again. He's like, nah, I can just take that out. Guess what is the problem? He's still working on the end of it. Everything sounds great. And he's got it all mixed. And I'm like, you got to make my drums sound rounder, which I know sounds weird, but he understood what I meant. And he managed to do that. But um, yeah, through the whole thing, he's got it down to where you can barely hear it. But I can still hear myself going, that was way easy <laughs> at the end because I was very excited. But I'm sure he'll figure out a way to buff that out or something. Any hoodles. Um, well, I went over 10 minutes, so... I'm still very excited. I'm still very excited that I'll have my own theme song and I think it's good. It doesn't have any words. It's just instrumental, but it makes you wanna shake your hips, shake your shoulders, wiggle your butt a bit, um, which is good, you know, dance around the house. So hopefully when I'm feeling a little better, I will film some sort of intro of some sort I don't know and then you can look forward to it you know if I have the puppies playing or whatever I can slip that in there because it's it'll be mine and Joe's own copyrighted material it's ours it was music we made ourselves so that is also exciting I told Joe since we're doing like this is like a side project of our band I'm like we should have a name for just me and him our band but I said he could name it because I ain't got no ideas. Um, any hoodles, I will, uh, I will, Skyrim will be up tomorrow, I promise. Um, my, my camera is charging as we speak. So at least we've got that going for us. And uh, I should check in at some point next week, um, either before or after surgery. Um... Well, I will definitely check in after surgery and once I'm home, you guys. So, you know, you know I'm alive. Um, and I'll let you know how it goes, what I'm feeling, whatever. So, uh, yay, I guess get used to this view. Although I'll probably be in the recliner and not on the couch, but whatever. Get used to this view, this ugly mug. Alrighty. Um, I will see you before too long. Uh, please be good, or at least good at it, while I am away. And uh, play nice, unless somebody's being a jerk, and then you don't have to, because, yeah, screw politeness. Alrighty, I love you guys, and uh, I'll see you soon. Have a great day. Bye.